Hi, I'm Yanni from JTrons, and welcome to another edition of my uh, recorded one time no post processing videos the way I like it. Uh, if you are a new viewer, uh, I give you five seconds, go down, click below, and, and uh, hit the bell button also while I take up water from my nice cup. Mm. Okay, so one of my friends, uh, Lindy from, from CUV, CUAV, uh, gave some a moment ago uh, one of these nice little CUAV uh, V5 nanos and, and, and uh, today we are going to open it and make some review and try to connect on my mission planner and look how everything goes. So uh, yeah, and, and that's about it on today's video, so uh, let's get going. Yeah, V5 Nano. This is um, uh, STM32F765, if I'm not... Yeah, that's correct. So, so yeah, that's uh, 765, which is uh, quite many manufacturers are now starting to use that one microprocessor because it gives you some extra features and, and it's nice and fast. So let's look what we have in here. All right the autopilot itself this is nice looking it's a aluminum case like uh, basically all of the CUAV productions uh, they are using nice aluminum cases and it's not that heavy so and we have a what we have in here uh, let's see let's put that one and then there so we do have again my pencil I, I need to get better one pencils. Oh, okay. So we have I squared C in here. We have a UART, uh, S bus RSSI telemetry one, I squared C two, another telemetry GPS safety buttons, uh, I squared C four. Oh, quite many I squared C's in here. Telemetry two, can can one can two, and then we have a USB. And we have, uh, okay, that's a power, power module. And of course we have the normal uh, RC, RC uh, channels in here. The USB actually, yeah, this is nice. Uh, it's a USB-C, which is really convenient nowadays. All my phones, all my tablets, all my computers, everything is using USB-C. And the nice thing on USB-C is that it doesn't matter which way you are actually putting it. So let's try. We have a cable in here. So I can put it that way or I can put it this way. And it always fits nicely inside. It's kind of a nice and convenient thing to have because uh, sometimes when you are, if you put your autopilot in a somewhere tight spots and others, it might be difficult to, you know, put. Uh, uh, Try to get your, your normal, uh, let's say, micro USB or whatever. And if you get it upside down, then uh, it's like, well, ah, damn it. So USB-C is quite nice and, and, and it gives you all kinds of things. All, all, all kinds of nice uh, possibilities in the future. All right, let's put that one in there. Now, the accessories. There, we can put that one away. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, uh, USB C, uh, USB C cable. There, let's not put behind the cameras. Uh, one, uh, one 3M AA sticker to mount your autopilot. Second one, so we have two of those ones. Uh, then we have. A, a um, the power module with the connectors and everything. And this one is a what five amp. Uh, I don't fully see, but it looks like six. No, it's a 40, 40 volts in input maximum. Anyways, I will put all the details and. and uh, technical details and others on down the description, so so uh, you can you can look from there. And we actually have uh, 
a, a, a uh, document page already on Ardupilot. Um, where's my computer? There. So if if you go on looking Ardupilot.org, Copter, uh, Docs, Common, CUAV, Nano. So you can find uh, all the technical details and, and, and uh, connections and everything like that one already from, from Ardupilot website that when you start building your systems and others. So that's kind of a handy. Handy and thing, and there's also a diagram how to connect uh, different kind of other devices and where you should, you should connect them. All right. So now, what else? Uh, this one is a what uh, looks like for I squared C splitter. Yeah, I squared C or CAN bus splitter. You can you can use these ones for both because they both are using four pin, so they they work. Both okay. Now, next thing. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's like Christmas. I like Christmas. Cables. There's some uh, S bus cable. So you have RC connector and the four pin cable. Actually, I wonder why the can connectors are yeah are cream. Usually. Usually the, the GH connectors are this kind of a natural color, but the, these are green. Uh, do I have a... I do have... That's a original... Just to be sure, let's try with a, a original JST GH that are these ones correct. So that one fits nicely there. And then let's fit it in here. So yeah, they, they are... Perfect. So I'm not sure that is that some some uh, special version of uh, what you can get from uh, J JST of, of uh, the green ones. I actually have to look the data sheet that uh, do we have another color. I'm I'm all my productions and other what we are using. We're using the white natural color most of them. Anyway, so we have a few more RC RC cables in here. Let's put it there. Then. Now, who are you? Uh, this looks like a for USB York. Yeah, but this one is not USB. I mean USB C. This looks like a for micro USB. Let's see. Do I have cable in here? I do have. Okay, upside down. Yeah, that's a that's a micro USB, and that's one way. Uh, I think. You can have this one as a, a your external USB connector. Uh, I'm not fully sure, but it should be at least you can have a Mavlink. So, so if you connect this one on one of those uh, telemetry ports in here, there, you know, in the board, uh, you should be connected uh, uh, directly with with a mission planner or Q crown control or whatever you want to use there. Anyway, now next one, what? Do we have in here? Ah, oh, that one looks like a for the safety switch. I'm not sure that do we have a light on this one, but I think there's a light in here. And uh, let's see. Okay, there's a LED markings in here. So I think this uh, button uh, just up oh, where there. So there's a nice little power button symbol in here and I think it has it has light well actually that's something we can we can try after 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 a while I've, after I've been looking all the others so I will connect that one and look how how it works uh, next pack PW link I think this one is actually is the Bluetooth yeah, I think it's a small Bluetooth unit. Oh, that's nice. That's handy. Yeah, you can connect. Uh, basically, it's a it's a tiny tiny uh, telemetry modem, so you can use your mobile phones or whatever. Uh, maybe maybe even your computer to connect on 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 the Nano with this one. And uh, yeah, that's nice. Later on, I will be doing a a. Uh, another video of this one, how to connect all these things and uh, 
especially testing like for how this kind of uh, Bluetooth device or whatever, how you can connect, what, what all the things you can do with that one another. So that's later on. More backs. Ah, the la that's the last one. Yeah. Cables. Uh, power detection cable. Okay, that's probably... But I, yeah, we had already in here, so maybe this is some, some additional power cable that you can connect on some other uh, power supplies or whatever. Um, DSM signal cable, okay. So, yet again, another normal RC connector and then uh, uh, four pin G H. Another cable, RSSI, basically same like the DSM cable, uh, four pin and RC connector. Third one, this is a ADC's ADC cable. Uh, did we have an ADC in here? Uh, oh yeah, there we have an ADC. Okay, so so yeah, if you want to uh, connect, for example, like uh, I square, uh, no, no, the the ADC based uh, sonars, some lidar systems, and others, uh, you can use this kind of ADC cables. Then oh, ADC 3.3 volt. Okay, but basically they are same cables, just different labels. Uh, who are you? I squared C CAN cable. So if you want to uh, connect, let's say, some of uh, your CAN devices, so you can have this one. But I probably wouldn't be using this one for CAN, uh, because it looks like... Let me open this one. It's been... Yeah, okay, it's been twisted, but it's not twisted fully as in a way like, like CAN cables should be. So uh, probably I wouldn't be using it uh, for, for CAN communication, especially if you have a lot of CAN devices. But short distance, yeah, if you have only one, one uh, let's say, low bandwidth CAN system, probably this one is just fine. In general, um, where do I have them? Actually, they are in wrong. Uh, in generally, the CAN cables they look like this one. So we have a, a, a crown and we have a plus wire, and then we have the, the uh, CAN low and CAN high cables are twisted all the way along the way. So so it's a little bit different. So this is this is safe to use even even longer one distances. Let's put it away there. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I think CUAV has been doing quite nice job with this packing. Okay, now next thing is, let's see if we can get this one alive. So, let's put these ones away. I don't need them now. Put there. Cables. Uh, oh yeah, this one I want to have. This one I don't need. And this one. This one I will check later on on the other one video. Okay, now I do have the micro, I have a USB C cable in here, but I have one in here, so I just use mine there. Oops, let's not put head in there. Okay, so now let's connect. Okay. Computer Rex, okay, and I detect a PX4 and a CUAV Nano. Let's see, let me put. Okay, we are powered up in here. Now we can change on the computer. Now let's see. Uh, I have no ideas what firmware we have inside and can we connect, but uh, let's try. So, Mission Planner. Okay, mission planner is, is booting up. Mission planner is booting up. Come, 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 come. Now, moment of truth. What happens? Okay, we do have a COM4 in here. We don't have anything PX4 related to anything like that one. We have, we have a COM4 in here. 
So let's hit connect. See what happens. Oh. Okay, there seems to be some firmware inside that is uh, at least Mavlin compatible. So, oh, looks like my, let's put it there, better. So, yeah, it works all okay. It uh, gives me the uh, bad uh, HRS, but that's that's normal because we don't have a GPS and all that kind of and it's not been configured. So that's that's normal message, but yeah. It works fully. All right, great. Uh, now I can I can uh, disconnect and let's take the let's take uh, there. So let's take that cable out and put this one where it goes. GPS safety. Uh huh. Okay, it goes there. Now, what does the button say? Oh yeah, we do have a nice little blue light. It sounds actually that like it is Arduino inside. I have to check it later. Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's a nice blue LED blinking in here. Let's see if I can show it better on the camera. So yeah, oh, let's go a little bit higher there. Okay, that's nice. That's really handy. And it's a nice thing because we have the mount holes in here, so, so you can easily mount it on, on wherever you want. And what happens if I press? It is arming. Hmm. I wonder what kind of settings we have inside. Anyways, I will be checking those ones later on. Oh, right. That's good. Okay. So, uh, uh, that's about this time on, on this video. And if you have any kind of uh, um, ideas, uh, requests or whatever, uh, leave a comment down below and, and, and uh, I will be looking at those ones or some of my staff will be looking at those ones and, and, and uh, we will get back to you. And same thing like if you want to have, let's say, if you have uh, some idea, okay, Yanni, can you help us, for example, uh, telling us that how to configure this one or how to, how to assemble or how to connect something like this one. So, so you can send a message to me and, and we created a special email uh, for that kind of uh, requests. So uh, you can use a YouTube at jdrones.com. So whatever comments and others, if you want to have reviews or whatever, so just send an email to us and, and we look uh, what all is possible to do uh, and, and uh, on what time you are going to do it. All right, that's about it on this time. So. Till next video, uh, fly safe, build a lot, and, and, and have a lot of fun. Bye-bye.